We're getting a closer look at one of the 156 DWI cases that were dropped as a result of the ongoing federal investigation. KRQE investigative reporter Gabrielle Burkhardt shows you the police video from a man officers at the time say was not only driving drunk, but his car was on fire. Albuquerque police lapel video from November 16th shows firefighters extinguishing the flames from a smoking SUV on Central near Wantabo. Someone called saying they were trying to flash at him, trying to let him know his car's on fire. It was just before midnight. As part of the investigation, DWI officers were called in. Police found the 23-year-old driver had an open container in the center console. A second open container, same thing. Mostly full. Officers say the driver had, quote, bloodshot, watery eyes, an odor of alcohol emanating from his face, and mumbled speech. Where's your friend live? Uh, I don't really know. I was just trying to get them home safe. But the driver didn't have anyone else in the car. Officers say the 23 year old failed field sobriety tests and had a blood alcohol level three times the legal limit a 0.26 and a 0.25. Help your friend get home? And where's this friend at? Um, I'm not sure. He was arrested for DWI, and according to the criminal complaint filed two weeks after this arrest, police say the young driver was also driving on a revoked license, but this case won't be prosecuted. It's one of 156 cases dropped, quote, in the interest of justice by the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office in January. Cases tied to officers now under federal investigation that News 13 has learned surrounds accusations of officers being paid to get DWI cases dismissed. APD says at least five of its officers are on administrative leave, including the one who made this arrest. Hey, how are you? APD officer Honorio Alba. He was awarded the 2023 Mothers Against Drunk Driving Officer of the Year from New Mexico. Yeah, was it just like just up the flames in the middle of the road, I think? Yeah, like someone called saying. In this case, there's no detention center booking sheet for the suspect that night. The officer wrote he was, quote, released from the prisoner transport center due to the prisoner transport center being shut down. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE Investigates. Court records show the 23-year-old driver has one other conviction for DWI from 2020. So far, none of the five officers placed on leave are facing any criminal charges.